All right, I'm going to make a short video on how to add a second key fob and program it into the 2018 Goldwing. When you get a new fob, it should come with a little piece of uh, paper or plastic attached to it. And, the, and you need to save this piece of paper because it contains a code on it that you can use to start your motorcycle in the event that you lose your key. So make sure you save this piece of paper. This is the Honda shorting adapter, and all that it is is a, is a connector with a wire on it that shorts two of the pins. So you could essentially make your own shorting adapter as long as you remember which two pins you're going to short on this connector. You're going to short the light green wire and the dark green wire together. So that's what's going to get shorted when you plug this connector in. However, we're not ready to do that. We need to first start with the procedure. This is my already registered key fob that came with the bike. And the first thing you need to do before you start is make sure this fob is turned on. You turn it on and off by holding in on that center button. When the unit is turned off, you will get one flash on that little LED there. So I just turned it off. To turn it back on, you press and hold, and you'll get three flashes. That indicates that the unit is turned on. Now you take the unit that you want to add, the new unit, and you make sure it is first turned off before you start. So now it's turned on. One flash. Now it's turned off. All right. I have already removed the side panel here over the battery. You'll have to remove this panel because you have to get to this connector here behind the battery. So that is the shorting connector that you have to short. And what I'm going to do to make life easier is I'm going to reach in here with a pair of pliers and I'm going to squeeze in on that uh, little connector stay so I can release the connector from the motorcycle and that gets the connector out where I can actually work with it a little easier. Once the connector is out I need to remove this cap. So that cap is removed by releasing this tab. So to release that tab you simply pry out on it, pry it away from the body of the connector this little tab right here, get your fingernail on it, pry it out, and then you can pull that off and you can see now that little tab there that I pried out on right there. So that's the tab you pry down on. Now you can get to the connector and you can use your shorting adapter. Okay, we start by making sure both fobs are turned off and we turn them off by pressing in and holding on the center button and we should get a single light when they're off. When you get three lights, three blinks, that means you turned it on. So a single light. That fob's turned off. This is the original fob. Now it's on. Single blink, now it's off. Both key fobs are off. Okay. Now I start by turning the fob that's already registered to the motorcycle, which is the one I have this little chain on, I turn it on by holding down and I get three blinks. Now I open the saddlebag door, the left saddlebag door. I open it and I turn the ignition on. The ignition is turned on. Now within 15 seconds of turning the ignition on, I have to come down here and put this shorting connector in place. Now after the shorting connector is in place, I come back here and I turn my registered fob off so I get a single blink. That's turned off. Now I'm going to turn my new key fob on. Three blinks. New key fob is on. Now I look up here at the clock and I wait 15 seconds. So after 15 seconds has passed, 
I'm going to come back and push on the saddlebag, left saddlebag open door. So we're just going to sit here for a few more seconds. So I know that the fob has gotten registered. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to push the saddlebag door again. And you hear a double beep when you do that. You'll hear a little bit of a beep change. Now, you come down here and you disconnect the shorting connector with the bike still on. And now you turn the ignition off. And the way you check if this has worked is you can turn your original fob off. Now it's on. The original fob is turned off. I'm going to turn off the new fob. New fob is turned off. Both fobs are turned off now. And I cannot open the saddlebag door and I cannot turn on the ignition. Now I'm going to turn on the new fob. Three blinks. New fob is on. I can open saddlebag door and I can turn on ignition. Now if you want you can go back and do the same thing with the other fob. So turn the new fob you added off, turn the original fob back on, make sure saddlebag still works, ignition still works. Now both of these key fobs are registered to the motorcycle. Thanks, and I uh, hope you enjoyed.